okay you guys um i know this isn't like our traditional like video sit down do our makeup and stuff but that's not the point of this video the, this video is kind of more like vlog style like every day with me like see what i'm doing and y'all might have noticed something a little different about um about the number in our family yes I got a puppy and I got her last week and I actually recorded getting her and like after after and before getting her and getting her um, yes it's, uh, the puppy is a her but for some reason my camera didn't record all the video so I was not able to edit that and upload it for you guys which is very disappointing because I was actually really looking forward to it and when I went to go see the video on the SD card and it wasn't there I was like actually broken really sad about it but um hopefully this time around it'll work and um I'm gonna show you guys some footage from uh our trip to the vet we just came from the vet uh we, she got her shots vaccinations because uh, she's a little bit pu she's a little puppy and we do not want her getting sick you know with heartworm and stuff like that and we had a pretty good time over there. All the employees are really nice. They're very professional and they're kind and they were sweet. Uh, they gave her like a little chew so she wouldn't nip on her fingers because she likes to bite because she's teething. She's a little baby. Um, but yeah, I really had a good time over there. And I'm going to uh, insert some footage of that for you now. She wants to be. Sure. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so right now we're just at the exam with the doctor. Um, again, we have the vaccines that we recommend boostering the distemper parvo and bordetella today. Um, one other thing that we usually recommend for new puppies as well is a fecal test. So that's where we take a stool sample and we just make sure they don't have any worms. If you're interested in doing that, I have the costs for everything so you can see what you want to do today. Now, do we do y'all get that from her uh, rectum or the um, next time she poops? We do. Good. There's a couple options. We have little fecal wounds that are just about the same size as the thermometer. Okay. Um, like that will, that. <laughs> that's usually how we get the stools, okay, especially yeah. for tiny puppies. Yeah. Um, so we can do it or we can send you home with a tube. No. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> um, but usually it's not too terrible. Usually they're pretty tough about it. Um, it's not that it's just that she's so little yeah yeah i know i i understand yeah. that so i'm a nurse and i don't mind sticking people yeah. you're back from watching all that footage let me tell you about my puppy my puppy she is a Westie puppy from a breeder here locally in Houston um, she we have a Westie already his name is diesel he's five years old uh, he's my little biscuit I love him so much uh, but I wanted a dog personally to me because I don't live with diesel but I live with her um, I'll show i'll tell her your i'll tell your, her name to y'all in a second but let me give y'all some background when we went to go get her i was like so excited and happy and beyond elated it was great and i'm really disappointed that i couldn't show you guys that footage but i still wanted y'all to have something so you weren't like you know clueless as to why all of a sudden i had a puppy um even though she may or may not pop in in videos this isn't the normal video, I said that before. 
but I kind of wanted y'all to see her grow as well as I wanted to document her growth like so I could look back and see how tiny she was and I really wish I took more pictures of Diesel because I don't remember what he looked like as a puppy but I remember that he was so cute and so small I just wish I had took more pictures so um, I'm documenting her growth as well so I think it's about time that I share her name with you her name is Shiro yes it's a really weird name don't I already know but I wanted to name her that not only because Shiro in Japanese means white yes I know I my grandma wants me to name her snowball but I'm not doing that because that's what everyone names any white animal um, but I wanted to name her something that was important to me so like there's this don't make fun of me there's this cartoon <laughs> there's this cartoon and in it there's a character named Shiro who actually really means a lot to me and I know it's just a cartoon I know it's silly but you know it was it was a light in a dark time in my life and I was really happy to have that so I named her Shiro in, or in the honor of that character also because it really fits because she's white and the character the name means white in Japanese anyways long story short I like the name and that's her name that's reason enough for me so um, I'm gonna put in some more footage of her just being cute you know playing around the house and um, on that uh, on that note you guys I'm really happy about this I'm happy that you guys decided to click on this video it's not gonna be a very long one but uh, I wanted y'all to see her you know and her little tiny little glory oh she's two pounds 14 ounces today which we didn't know because we thought originally thought she was like a pound but now she's two pounds she's a whopping two pounds Oh, she's so cute. I love her so much. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you would like to. Like the video if you liked it. But most importantly, honey pots, stay well and stay beautiful. Bye. Tastes good. See my palm freezes. Sweet. Does it taste sweet? Mm -hmm. It tastes sweet? Like it's really fun. sweet? Is there a tournament or something? Yeah. You want to know where it is? Hmm? Mexico. But don't worry, it's going to be the last ones I get. <laughs>